Hello everybody. Today we are going to see scheduling agreement in SAP MM. Okay. So what is scheduling agreement? It is JIT, just in time. That is once the material comes in, either it directly goes to the customer or it will goes to it will go to the production line. Okay. I'm going to show that in the SAP system, live SAP system. Okay. Go to SAP live system. This is my SAP system. Go to ME31L. Okay. Enter vendor. F01 is my vendor. Okay. My purchase organization is 1111. My purchasing group is 000. Okay. Press enter. Now enter validity end date. So this is today's date. 27 1 2022 is my date. Today's date. Okay. Enter validity end date. My validity end date is. 10th of February. Okay, February. Press enter. Okay, now I'm going to enter the material. My material is 2538 is my 28 is my material. 2528 is my material. Okay, enter the plant. Double one double one is my plant. Enter target quantity 10. Enter net price double one double zero thousand hundred rupees. And enter storage location also. It is not mandatory, mandatory, but enter the storage location here itself. Present. So I'm going to purchase capacitor, 10 capacitor at the price of 1100 rupees each. Okay. So now save it. Double five, triple zero, double zero, one five eight is my scheduling agreement number. Now come back. Go to ME 38. So this is my scheduling agreement number. So it is adapted. Now press enter. Okay, double click onto this line item. So delivery date, today's date. So today's date, 27th is my day today's date. Okay, now we enter five quantity for today's date. And then another five quantity on another day. 4th of February. Okay, five quantity. So this five quantity, this five quantity alone will be able to do GR goods reset. Okay. This five quantity because it is on today's date. Only today's date it will be possible. Okay. That is just in time. Just in time is nothing but today's date. It will be either sent directly to the customer or to the production line. So that is what the meaning is. Okay. Now save it. So I have saved it. I have maintained the date. One is today's date. Another one is on 9th of February. Come back. Go to MIGO. Enter scheduling agreement number. See five numbers. So rest five number is on another date. Okay. Now go to item OK. Select onto this item OK. Check and post. Check and post. Okay. I have posted the document. Now come back. I'm going to do invoice verification. Go to MIRO, invoice verification. So for that five quantity, I'm going to do invoice verification. I'm going to do invoice posting. Vendor will be giving you the invoice. I'm going to post it in the SAP system. Enter invoice date, select tax amount. Enter amount, you don't have to enter amount. Enter purchase order number 5500. Triple zero one five eight. Now calculate tax. Enter baseline date. Go to basic data. Enter double five double zero. It's my amount. Now, let's check the message. So, let me select tax for training purpose. I'm going to select null tax. And once when you select it here, you have to select it here also. Zero tax. For training purpose, I'm going to go and do this. Zero tax. Present. Now it will be green. Now, simulate and post.
accumulator for C credit debit both 5500 balance is zero post. Thank you.